you are welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can talk to database with html and javascript if you don't know um, php yet on my sql yeah you can still talk to database with a simple code in, uh, in javascript with html and if you happen like this let's first create table so i have already created table here let me delete this one Okay, now let me create it. We see table created successfully. Now we cannot add item to this uh, table. Let me put maybe I want to put bread. How many items we have? 100. Let me insert it. Insert it. Yeah. Let me put gala. How many items? Let me put 50. It's inserted. Wow. Now, what another thing I want to put? Let me put, um, let's put biscuits there. How many do I have? Do I have 20? Let's insert it. Wow. So, how can you now fetch your record? Click on fetch record. You can see what I have here. It's in um, descending order. That's 3, 2, 1. So, if you want to delete the database, click here to delete. It's deleted. If I click here to fetch, you can see. So, there's nothing there again to fetch. Now, how can you now write simple code to do this miracle? Just here we go. Follow me. Select this to be HTML. We are going to reuse HTML and JavaScript throughout uh, with small um, bootstrap. So let's start like this. Okay, so let me just put web SQL database with HTML and Java and JavaScript. Okay, let's make this thing to be responsive. Uh, on mobile so let me, i'm going to use meta tag so this meta tag should be name viewport uh, content that should be user user scalable that should be no followed by the width width should be device width device width Let's use it like this. Okay. Now I'm going to use Bootstrap. Uh, making reference, I have it in my folder here. Uh, bootstrap. Bootstrap. CSS. All right. So we start. Also, I'm going to use jQuery. I have it in my folder. So I have it inside jQuery. Then JS folder. So that's the jQuery. JS. That's what you need. Here we go. Now for the code, um, let me okay. Let's put this one style style um, margin. Let me use margin. Uh, maybe thirty pixel. Okay. Let's save this file index dot html. Okay. Now we are having div. Let this this one be container. Followed by let me have room. It's not a must. Let me put it there. Room. So now I'm going to create form now. Form. Uh, let's have fit sets. My fit set. I want to have um, legend uh, item name. This should be my item name. I'm going to create the form first. The input. I put type text. The class. Uh, form control. Okay, let's give it ID. This should be item. So when you are through with this, create another legend here. That is for quantity. For quantity. So the input should be quantity is number ID quantity. I'm going to stop in two fields. So if you want to add more, it's simple. You can just add more. So we are going to have um, three or four buttons. The first button should be uh, insert the insert item. So that one, this will insert the ID. Let's give it ID. The ID should be insert. Let me give it class. btn btn. Let's see, and success. 
so that's the first button my second button third fourth my second button should be create table because if you don't create table you can't insert anything so this should create table so this one should um, delete table you want to delete table delete table so let's call it this one remove or delete the last one fetch record in case i want to fetch my record let me call this one and uh, list the record for me so that's so let's see what we just designed now right click open in browser oh remain my quantity to have class form control okay fresh wow let me just break this place so that there will be space there okay so if i click here click here click here click here click here so but it's submitting my form i don't want that it's javascript i want to use i want this thing to be pure button i want it to be pure button don't worry uh, you can download this my source code i will show i will show you the link where you can download it so now you press this this this, this. now the delete button should be delete button should be danger should be danger okay now if i insert this this uh click here should insert click here to create database now this is where you now write your javascript you can put it let's put it here before the closing tag of body let's put